Welcome to the training video for finding the resting motor threshold. In this video, we'll cover three different sections. The TMS setup process, finding the hot spot, and finding the amplitude. It's important to first familiarize yourself with the MagVenture MagPro. To power the machine, there's a switch in both the back and the front of the machine. While you wait for the machine to warm up, you can bring your participant in, have them take a seat, and get as comfortable as possible. When the participant is ready, we help guide on a swim cap to aid in measurement taking. It's important to make sure that their ears are visible as well. Measure from the nasion to the brim of the cap so we can place the cap in the same location every time. You'll begin by marking on each side of the ear, down the center of the forehead, and on each side of the opposite ear. From there, you'll measure from the nasion to the inion and mark on each side of the ruler. Then by measuring from the right tragus to the left tragus and marking on each side of the ruler. This allows you to find the apex of the head. By using this resource, clinicalresearcher.org slash EEG, you're able to put in the dimensions that you have just measured and find from the apex of the head down to the motor cortex. Once you've found the apex of the head, you can start by measuring from the center down to the participant's left tragus. From Clinical Researcher, we found a measure six centimeters from the apex to the left tragus. The mark you make there will be where you begin with the motor threshold coil. With the use of the swim cap, we'll be able to start in the same location every time. When you're ready to begin using the machine, press the main menu. On the setup menu, scroll down until you find the letter M. Underneath, you'll see a button that says Recall. Make sure the setup menu on your left changes to the letter that you've chosen, and then press Timing. Enable the machine to your left, and raise the amplitude to about 50%. Once you're there and ready, you can press start and begin positioning the coil. There should be one pulse every three seconds for as many trains as it takes to find the correct spot. Here's the motor threshold coil. There's a dial on the front to raise the amplitude at any time if needed. When positioning the coil, place the center directly on the X that you have created. Imagine there's a grid on top of the motor cortex. Beginning at the X that you've created, move in a one centimeter like fashion, anterior and posterior until you find the most motor movement. Once you've found that location, begin moving in a grid like fashion until you find the highest motor output. Continue in the same pattern until you start to see the participant's finger twitch. To start, you can go to clinicalresearcher.org to find this adaptive pest system. This program will help you find the right dose. With this system, you always want to begin the amplitude at about 50%. When you see the participant's finger twitch, press the Y key. If you see no movement, press the N key. The program will adjust the amplitude based on your input. The amplitude will turn green when the system has found the correct dose. 
Once you've found the correct dose, you're all done finding the resting motor threshold. Thanks for watching.